and you're allowing this to happen. You can't say you didn't know about it because I tagged you in a post and I told you about it on purpose. So you couldn't say you didn't know about it. Now you know. Hi beautiful people. Welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. Hope everybody is starting off to a very good week. So last week I saw people were talking about backwards Barbie again. And this time again she was going after LB. And I was okay. She is steering up the drama because... She has a large dentist bill to pay and so I figured she must think that by making up drama with another creator it's going to bring her new subs and more views and she can make more money to pay off her debt so I figured okay well whatever. The reason I chose to talk about this now where she chose to go after LB again is now it seems that she is threatening people. So let's get into that, but before that, my usual disclaimer. Please do not take what I say as facts. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Like I said last week, Backwards Barbie made a video about LB because apparently somebody told her that LB said that she was using her content but didn't give her credit for it, something to that effect. And then Backwards Barbie had a fat lot to say about LB and LB responded. And I will leave the link to that video in the description box if you want to go check that out. Now, Backwards Barbie is back and she is addressing LB and without a crystal ball and their subs that came into Barbie's comment section to talk shit. And this is what she had to say. And to you creators, LB without a crystal ball, let your subscribers know. You know, that's not a good look. It's not It's not mature. It's not grown. It's okay not to like me. I don't care. Keep it moving. You can talk about me on your channel. I don't care. Keep it moving. Don't bring it to my channel. Don't seek me out. I don't seek you out. I haven't yet. We'll leave it at that. But you keep on and it's going, I mean, you wonder why people go real life. This is why. Because people keep on poking and keep on poking and keep on poking. See how far they can poke. Well, look, baby, I'm from the backwoods. That's why my name is Backwoods Barbie. So note that quote. Now, before she made this video, she made this post on a community page, which reads like this. Whoa, so I have seen nothing but trolling. Harassing comments. Why? Hundreds of random accounts bullying me, nonstop telling me to go away, take a bath. I'm trash. I'm jealous of their favorite creator, LB, who has nothing to be jealous of. Okay, so now I'm going to address them and her at official LB. And this is all as you can see in upper caps. Get your subs or your fake accounts off my channel. You can talk your shit about me, but stop the harassment because I don't see you being harassed by my subs in your comments. Girl, you can meet me in real life. I can drive to you or whatever, but you're going to stop the shit today or I can stop this offline period. What the actual fuck? I have three patrons who pay to be on my Patreon. Somebody's trolling last night told me all my videos are uploaded to a public group and everybody laughs at me. W2F. How effing old are y'all? 12? Nah, my 12 y'all don't even act this bad. Why the fuck are y'all watching me nonstop to complain about me complaining? Weird, man. At official LB, get your subscribers under control. They all say they are here to take up for you. Like I said, my subs aren't in your comments. Very telling. I'll show all of them in a video coming up. You're not being harassed, but your subs are stalking and harassing me. What the actual fuck are you doing? You about to know me real good. At without a crystal ball and her subs started the same shit years ago. They didn't succeed. So you really think another whack low life is going to push me off the internet? Nah. Watch me be great. Take note, girls. What? First of all, the disrespect. First of all, backwards Bobby, did you really refer to LB as a whack low life? Number two. How the fuck is LB supposed to be responsible or be held accountable for what other people do? Even if they are sub to her, she cannot control grown adults who have their own free will. They choose to come to you and give you their opinion because of the whack shit you said about LB. In regard to the bullying, that is totally unacceptable, I agree. But take the appropriate action to curb that, in my opinion. And to my recollection, you were the first one to talk shit on Albie because the time and the only time I heard her take up for herself was with regard to you 
in response to the video that you made called YouTube is getting too big for their breaches, which she had all the right to do. The last time I checked Barbie, they actually implanted a new set of teeth for you. They didn't implant new strength or bravery because all the shit you are talking about how LB can meet you in real life or you can drive to her. What the fuck are you trying to get at? You will not touch a hair on her head, period. Violence never settles anything. With that said, the only thing you are going to take care of offline is yourself. Because you're going to self-reflect and how you need to put yourself in check. And continue to stay in your lane and learn how to deal with the haters because this is the internet. The only time those people, aka the haters, watch you is when you talk out the side of your mouth. About people that don't even mention you or pay attention to you. And pay you no mind and then she tries to be all that and try and make others feel inferior and tries to make herself look like mom of the century by saying that at least she took her kid on vacation when lost did certain people take their kids on vacation listen to this bullshit let me know when the last time any of these people took their kids on vacation i just literally took my kid on vacation Okay, I've vlogged it. Let me know when any of them have. Uh-huh, I'll wait. That says a lot, too. You pay attention to people's actions. I've been harassed nonstop while I've been on vacation with my kid by LB subscribers and without a crystal ball subscriber. Bobby, you are able to take your kid on vacation of other people's dime, of other people's generosity, of your e-begging, because you give a fuck about what others are going through. A lot of other people are going through a lot of hard times. You don't like people to talk about your kid. Don't bring your kid into shit like this. Just a suggestion. People are sick of your complaining. And who does this? Okay, 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 okay. I know, I know, I got chicken, I got chicken. It's okay, it's... Oh, I don't want chicken, I don't want... Oh, I don't want chicken. Oh, I don't... Okay, oh... Oh... Uh. Uh. Is that for people to feel sorry for you because you don't want to check the balance on your bank account? It's like, get a grip on yourself, man. Don't you have any models at this point? Again, so many people out there cannot even afford to put food on the table for their fucking kids. You complaining on how you have bills to pay is sickening to me. To it, it, it makes my stomach want to turn because not so long ago you were bragging about how intelligent and smart you are and that you went to college, in a real college. So why don't you get off your ass and go get yourself a good, well-paying job that you don't need to eat big from other people anymore. Or you don't have to have people feel bad for you to pay your bills and even provide for you to take your child on vacation and then in turn you take the credit for it. I would love to see just one screenshot that says that people are taking up for LB. Maybe then LB will have a chance to get to her subs and tell them to stop doing what they're doing if they are doing it. All these threats are not sitting well with me personally. LB works her ass off to provide for her family the way I see it. With no e-begging. You will never touch a hair on her head. You want to act so tough and come across as being like no one can fuck with you? I will be honored to give you my address. But you are not going to do this shit to Albie. Except maybe just apologize to her because she rightfully deserves an apology. Because that would be the right and honorable thing to do as far as I'm concerned. And as for without a crystal ball, all I can say to, to that as the two of you are like birds of a feather. So, you guys, with all that said, Bobby, go on, girl. Be great. Do your thing. That is wonderful. I'm rooting for you. But like I always say, let your haters be your motivators. Stop trying to take the next person down. Stop trying to create drama. Let it go. You do you, boo, as they say. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Please be kind to one another. Be safe out there and don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.